everyone and welcome to this presentation aiming to show you the value of battery cooling simulation using our Siemens digital industry software solutions. Let's start off with looking at trends and implications. Why is battery cooling modeling necessary today? Electrification is happening at a very fast pace and this is having a significant impact on the way batteries are designed. Let's have a look at why simulation is so critical to support the development of advanced batteries in today's competitive market. First, batteries often fail due to overheating, so ensuring that the temperature ranges are maintained during normal operation is critical. Doing so increases the battery's output performance, increases its charge and discharge efficiencies, and helps avoid degradation to extend battery life. Simulation plays an important role here. Second, the battery of future requires much higher power density and energy density to extend range and lifespan. Simulation can be leveraged to ensure effective usage of active material, a look into new fuels and hybrid systems, as well as imaginative noble processes and materials. Third, we need to reduce the cost, so we must leverage simulation to lower design and production costs improve operational efficiencies, as well as reduce maintenance costs. And finally, sustainability and safety of the battery pack are critical and simulation is an effective tool to prevent thermal runaway, mitigate safety hazards and achieving new operating ranges. So how does battery cooling simulation address these challenges specifically? First, it enables engineers to predict and understand real-world cooling performance before ever building a first prototype. We are talking here about capturing the fully coupled electrochemical and thermal performance and doing so across varied drive cycles and operating conditions. Beyond that, simulation also lets you look at competitive trade-offs in design phase with the development of more efficient batteries, reducing costs and driving innovation by exploring many design variations early in the development. By adopting high fidelity simulations and using it to explore the design space, you can truly engineer innovation into your batteries. Ultimately, this is what is required to stay in the game and move ahead. So where can we apply this battery cooling simulations. Battery cooling simulations can be applied in various electrification transportation applications, including aircrafts, ferries, trains, agriculture, off-road vehicles. For all these applications, the heat generated during drive cycle limits the performance and hence efficient battery cooling is necessary not only to maintain performance, but also to avoid premature aging of the battery pack. But not all simulation tools are created equally. Quite often, simulation itself can become a bottleneck. So what I would like to do next is to take you through the key requirements for simulation to be efficient and effective for battery innovation. First, engineers must have access to an efficient virtual cell design tool. It needs to capture all the physical and material properties within the cell to enable a detailed physical design. But it must also facilitate virtual testing of the cells for various drive cycles and thermal abuse conditions and allow for studying the effect of calendar and cyclic aging of the performance of the cell. Finally, it must also provide capabilities for the gap analysis so that the engineer can confirm the suitability of the cell for the application and to compare the virtual cell test results with the actual physical prototype. The Siemens solution for lithium ion cell designs is provided with Battery Design Studio or in short BDS which assists in designing batteries, simulating their manufacturing, and then testing them, ultimately reducing both cost and time. With PDS, a cell design such as spiral, stack, or prismatic configuration can be characterized to evaluate energy and power requirements. 
using either physics-based models to account for multiple active particles or equivalent circuit empirical-based models such as NRC element model or NTG models for varied drive cycles. Thermal abuse or runaway tests are expensive and BDS provides a platform to simulate accelerating rate calorimetry oven tests. Once the cells have been fully characterized, the information can be used in SimCenter Star CCM Plus for a more detailed module and pack level analysis. But we are not only interested in cell design, in parallel, we need to also perform detailed module and pack analysis to make sure they will perform as predicted. The ease of geometry handling of the battery ancillaries is paramount to creating a realistic model. And meshing needs to be handled in an automated way to capture those geometry details. Next, appropriate solvers are required to capture the coupled behavior of thermal, electrochemical, or electrical and flow properties for the design and to analyze their behavior for varied drive cycles. It is critical to have an end-to-end -end workflow in one environment which can address CAD, mesh, solution, analysis for ease of use. Such an integrated workflow eliminates the need to write scripts and saves engineering time. The SimCenter solution for module or pack level analysis is provided by BDS along with battery simulation module or in short BSM, which is an add-on for SimCenter Star CCM Plus. To assist in the process of simulating the electrical and thermal responses of the battery over the course of a load cycle. When the battery module is selected in Star CCM Plus, a pathway is created to import the BDS file and set up the geometry modules and connector parts as well as the electrical loads. Geometry handling of other battery ancillaries such as housing, bus bars, connectors is paramount. It is also handled with ease within Siemens SimCenter Star CCM Plus. A circuit solver ensures that the right drive cycle test is conducted on the battery module or the pack. And an automated mesh makes sure that all the geometry details are appropriately captured for the couple simulation. You might ask, why is it required to capture a couple behavior? Isn't the lumped heat loss approach enough? Let's look at it. A coupled solution to electrochemical and thermal flow problem is important because the rate of reactions in a cell and the impedance of the cell are temperature dependent based on the environmental conditions and cooling of the cell. The electrical and the thermal behavior are intertwined as the current distribution along the electrode is not uniform. The resulting heat loss within the length of the cell causes huge gradients in temperatures within the cell and hence electrical and thermal behavior must be integrated in a solution with a tightly coupled electrochemical and thermal solution. With a coupled solution, you can ensure that the losses in a cell and in turn the pack are fed from the electrochemical model to the thermal model to get the two temperature rise, which is then fed back to the electrochemical model this needs to be done for every iteration of each time step. Without such a coupled approach, the results can deviate by over 20% depending on the drive cycle. So how is it implemented in SimCenter Star CCM Plus? This brings us to Star CCM's integrated coupled solution of the electrical and the thermal response of the battery. The electrochemical solver provides the cell's outputs such as voltage, current, SOC, heat generation of the cell and receives a temperature field from the energy solver. The CFD solver receives heat generation from the electrochemical solver as a source term. With the Siemens solution, the TBM file which has been produced from BDS is imported into Star CCM Plus. At every time step, the energy solver is updated with the new heat generation field. 
while at the same time the electrochemical solver is updated with the temperature field which is fed to the cell temperature dependent models making it an interactive approach to establish the cell's response in its thermal environment. There is a two-way mapping to transfer the data from the electrical mesh invisible to the user to the thermal CFD mesh. Now let's look at how we can leverage the solution to drive better battery cooling innovations. Battery designers are looking for innovative answers to differentiate themselves in the market. Single point simulations are a thing of the past. What's needed to keep a competitive edge today is the use of simulations to intelligently explore design variations and perform trade-off studies to improve battery cooling. And design exploration will play a key part in that. Finally, let me talk a bit about intelligent design space exploration. Let me show you what I mean with an example. I'm talking about running hundreds of designs at once to find the best compromise of trade-offs in the design. In this case, we are using heats to look at changes in the battery pack geometry features to minimize weight while ensuring temperature distribution is as uniform as possible. And look at the breadth of the design parameters we are changing. Heat conduction fins, compression pad thickness, the tap connector length, the geometry of the liquid coolant channels, as well as the coolant flow rate as well. After hundreds of designs, the design space exploration delivers a significant improvement in the design with weight reduction of 35% and temperature uniformity by 30% improvement, which is critical to back life expectancy. Summary, the SimCenter solution delivers a streamlined process that meets all the requirements I have outlined. With Battery Design Studio, the engineer can virtually design the cell. Next, using SimCenter Star CCM battery simulation module, a detailed module and pack analysis can be performed. These are tightly coupled, delivering an integrated solution for battery cooling, including electrochemistry, flow, and heat transfer. This process can then be used to intelligently explore the design space. I hope this short video has shown you the value of SimCenter for battery cooling simulations. Our solution provides all the necessary models and capabilities to predict and understand real-world behavior of battery thermal applications, while at the same time enabling engineers to explore many design variations early in the development phase. This ultimately reduces cost and time and results in better performing designs.